Hi everyone, today we're going to learn the horizontal shift into graph basic function. So please watch the whole video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Horizontal shifts. Let's f be a function and c a positive real number. The graph of y equal f of x plus c is the graph of y equal f of x shifted to the left c unit. And the graph of y equal f of x minus c is the graph of y equal f of x shifted to the right c unit. As we see in the example, we have here y equal f of x. If we shift it to the left, we're going to have f of x plus c. And if we shift it to the right, we're going to have f of x minus c. Now let's move to the first example. I'm going to start with the absolute value of functions. So let's take the graph y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. So first we're going to uh, draw the y equal the absolute value of x. So let's start with the table. So we have x and y equal the absolute value of x. So I'm going to take random numbers. So let's take 0. The absolute value of 0 equals 0 and 1, the absolute value of 1 equal 1, and 2, the absolute value of 2 equal 2, and minus 1, the absolute value of minus 1 equal 1, and minus 2, the absolute value of minus 2 equal 2. So now I'm going to graph the number, uh, the point that I found. So here we have y, and here we have x. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first point, I have uh, x equals 0 and y equals 0. And the second one, x equals 1 and y equals 1. And the third one, x equals 2 and y equal 2 and the other one minus 1 x equal minus 1 and y equal 1 and the last one is uh, x equal minus 1 uh, minus 2 and y equal 2 now i'm going to connect the point that i found So here I found y equal the absolute value of x. Now we're going to move to graph y equal the absolute value of x minus 3. As I mentioned here, the graph of uh, y equal f of x minus c is the graph of y equal f of x uh, shifted to the right c unit, which is 3. So I'm going to take the graph and then move it to the right uh, 3 units by using the, the point that I already have. So as I have here, the first point is 0. So I'm going to shift it 1, 2, 3. So I have the first one. And then I'm going to shift the other one, which is uh, I have here a minus 1. So 1, 2, 3. And I have minus 2. 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to shift the other side. And I have here 1, 1, 2, 3. And then I have 2 here. 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to connect the point that I found. And now I have found y equal absolute value of x minus 3. Now let's see the second example. Here I'm going to use squaring function. So let's graph y equal uh, square root of x plus 2. First I'm going to graph y equal uh, y equal x square. So I'm going to start with the table. I have x and I have y equal x square. So I'm going to take random numbers again. So I have 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. So square of 0 equals 0, and square of 1 equals 1, and square of 2 equals 4, and square of minus 1 equals 1, and square of minus 2 equals 4. So let's 
So now let's move and uh, graph the function y equal uh, x square. So I have here x and here y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. So first, x equals zero. X equals zero and y equals zero. And x equals one and y equals one. And x equals two and y equals four. And x equals minus one and y equal 1, and x equal minus 2, and y equal 4. Now I'm going to connect the points. So now I have found y equal x square. Now I'm going to graph y equal square of x plus 2. By using the graph of y equal x square, and then I'm gonna shift it a uh, c unit to the left uh, using the point that I have already. Here, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, and I have another one here, which is 1, 2. And then I have another one here, which is one, two. And I have another one here, one, two. Now I'm gonna connect the numbers, uh, the points. Now I have found y equal square of x plus 2 to the the third example here I'm gonna use the square root of functions so let's graph the both function first one it's y equals square root of x minus 1 and the second one y equals square root of x plus 3 so first let's uh, graph y equals square root of x so we're going to start with the table again. We have x and y equals square root of x. So I'm going to take random numbers. So I'm going to take 0, 1, and 4. So the square root of 0 equals 0, and the square root of 1 equals 1, and the square root of 4 equals 2. So now let's graph the function y equals square root of x. So I have here x and here y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So first point we have uh, x equals 0. x equals 0 and y equals 0 and the second one x equal 1 and y equal 1 and the last one x equal 4 1 2 3 4 and y equal 2 now let's graph the function now now we have found y equals square root of x now we're gonna uh, graph the function y equals square root of x minus 1 by using the first graph of y equals square root of x and shift it to the right uh, c unit which is uh, 1 here and then we're gonna use the same point so I have the first one which is 0 so I'm gonna move it here and then I have the second one which is 1 and then I'm gonna move it here and then I have the last one, which is 2 here, and then I'm going to move it here. So now I'm going to try to connect the points. 
have found y equals square root of x minus 1. Now let's move to the last graph. We have here uh, y equals square root of x plus 3. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use uh, the graph of y equals square root of x and then we're going to shift it to the left uh, 3 units by using the same uh, point. So I have here 0. So I'm going to shift it 3 point, which is 1, 2, 3. And then I have the other one, which is 1. One, two, three, and then I have the other one, which is four here, so it's gonna be one, two, three. So now I'm gonna try to connect the point. So now I have found y equal square root of x plus 3 and that's all for today if you have any question please feel free to leave it in the comment below or contact me in my instagram and if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe like and share with your friend and i hope to see you all in my next video